Week 1 matchup, St. Marcellinus for St. Rock Ravens. Alex Walker under shotgun, hands it off to Josh Alves, finds a hole, breaks through, picks up a blocker, and gets out of bounds. Start on defense, St. Rock quarterback fakes the handoff and is immediately snuffed out by Deshaun and Draven and taken down for a sack. Final score, 27 to nothing, St. Marcellinus over St. Rock Ravens. Here we go, St. Marcellinus versus David Suzuki. Stick with St. Marcellinus on defense. David Suzuki, quarterback, rolls out, feels pressure, throws it for an incomplete pass. Great coverage by St. Marcellinus defense. David Suzuki, quarterback, under center, drops back, throws it downfield, and is picked off by Joseph Walker for the interception. Final score, St. Marcellinus 36, David Suzuki nothing. Week 3 matchup, St. Marcellinus Spirit vs. St. Rock Ravens. Alex Walker in the shotgun, motion Zaire Miller in the flat. Direct snap to Alex Walker, looks downfield to the end zone. And it is caught for a Marcellinus touchdown by Joseph Walker. Let's head to defense where St. Rock's quarterback is in the shotgun and pitches it to number one St. Rock running back and tries to hit the outside and is sworn by Marcellinus defenders. Final score 37 to 14 St. Marcellinus win over St. Rock Ravens. Here we go week four matchup St. Marcellinus vs. Lauren Park in a big rivalry game. St. Marcellinus on offense. Owens reels back, toast the end zone over Lauren Park defender and call for a touchdown by Tyreek. Head to Lauren Park on offense. Lauren Park quarterback drops back and throws and is picked off by Javon Miato. Final score 22 to nothing. St. Marcellinus win over Lauren Park. Big win for St. Marcellinus in this rivalry. Hey St. Marcellinus, I'm here with Jalen, Chad, and Zeke. After the 22 0 Marcellinus defeat over Lauren Park. Yeah, I'd like to uh, give a lot of thanks to my O line, great coaching, and just me playing my heart out against a rival team. The defensive line's mindset for this game, I talked to my D line before the game, coach talked to us before the game. And he said, dominate, 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 always punch those guys. Also, I want to give a shout out to God for helping me get that sack. You know, all glory be to God. And I also want to just, just shout out to the coaching staff also, you know, for uh, telling us what to do, how to maneuver, and how to beat the O-lineman, and that's what we did. Here we go, St. Marcellinus versus David Suzuki, week five matchup. Owens in the shotgun, drops back, looks downfield, finds Tyreek wide open for a St. Marcellinus touchdown. David Suzuki on offense, quarterback drops back, looks downfield, throws it, and it is intercepted by Joseph Walker. Picks up a few blockers, rushing down the sidelines, and is finally pushed out of bounds by David Suzuki lineman. It's final, 44 St. Marcellinus, 20 David Suzuki. Big win for St. Marcellinus. Week 6 matchup, St. Marcellinus versus Lauren Park at St. Marcellinus. Lauren Park's punter punts it deep downfield to Mateo Sipak. Mateo Sipak reverses it to Zaire Miller. Zaire Miller sheds a blocker, sheds another blocker, sheds another Lauren Park blocker, and he's screeching down the sideline and is finally pushed out of bounds by a Lauren Park defender around the 30 yard line. St. Marcellinus on defense. Lauren Park quarterback hands off to the running back. He bursts through the middle and is immediately punished by Josh Alves of the Marcellinus defense. Final score, St. Marcellinus 31, Lauren Park 7. St. Marcellinus clinches their playoff spot in the Robson Championship game and heads into their bye week. Hey St. Marcellinus, I'm Noah and I'm here at the St. Marcellinus versus Lauren Park game. And St. Marcellinus won 31 to 7. And I'm here with Javen and Mateo. Mateo had two interceptions and Javen was a beast hey. on defense. So you guys play in the championship game in two weeks. October 31st. October 31st. And it's either going to be St. Rock or Lauren Park. So you guys almost have a bye week. And what's going to be the preparation and going to be the practice going to be looking like? Yeah, it's going to be the same thing, you know. We're going to go hard in practice, go hard in the weight room, watch that film. So October 31st comes, you know, we're going to go out, we're going to dominate. It's an everyday thing, you know. Here we go. St. Marcinus versus Lauren Park in the Robson Championship. Winner goes to Offsa. Hey St. Marcinus, I'm Noah and I'm here with Jaden and Quinton on, before their championship game against Lauren Park at Centennial on Thursday. What are you telling the team, being the captain, going into this game? Definitely there's a rivalry between us, but uh, we've just been working harder than them all season since last spring camp. We knew we wanted to play Lauren Park here and on Thursday you're going to see it's just going to outwork them on the field and we're going to come away with that trophy. 
These past two years haven't come. We haven't got the outcome we wanted, but this is uh, this is gonna be the year. We're gonna bear down, focus, and just punish. Honestly, go go spirit. Owens with Alves and Kerr in the backfield. Direct snap. Drops back. Sees Walker on a go route, and he throws it, and it is caught for a big gain for Saint Marcellinus. Owens hands it off to Kerr. Gets a block. Hits the outside. One Lauren Park defender to beat. 20, 10, 5, and he's in for the touchdown. St. Marcellinus beats Lauren Park 22-7 in the Ropsa Championship and are off to Opsa for the second time in school history. Here we go. St. Marcellinus is going in their second ever Opsa Championship game against Paul Dwyer. Owens gets a snap, rolls to his right, looks to the end zone, finds Deshaun for the touchdown. Fast forward to the second quarter where Owens hands the ball off to Kerr and with Leandre leading the block, Kerr gets into the end zone for his third TD of the game. St. Marcinus goes up 40 to nothing. Final score 48 to nothing. St. Marcinus just won their first ever Austin Championship game and is now the best team to ever put on the St. Marcinus uniform. Hey St. Marcinus! We're in Hamilton. Marcy just won their first off the championship. I'm here with the Marcy captains, and I got one question for each of them. What is the feeling right now? Just crazy, man. I just, I'm just taking it right now. It's just crazy. Man, this season was, was, un, was an unforgettable one. It was some of these guys' last ride, so had to go all out for them. Unforgettable. I love all my friends, all of them, even coaches. Everyone bowed out. We did what we were supposed to do. And now we just made history. Yes, sir! Man. We did it because we're a family, baby. Let's go! We're here, here, man. Yeah. My Selena, my yes, first Austin Championship, and these guys are bringing it home. This was an incredible season that these boys had. I got a chance to talk to some of the players and coaches of the team on how they felt their season went. I mean, shout out to all the coaches, man, for the whole year. Every single one of them putting in work after school even though they don't have to it's volunteer work and just help them get better and uh and and end product we're winning off so so thank you coaches for spending your time after practice with us to help us just be the best players we could be on and off the field thank you to the coaches you know just for you know just coming out there and giving up their free time when they could have been with their families and their kids just for really pushing us to just be the best players that we can be i like to thank the coaches for you know pushing the team and like making us build our chemistry with the fifth years. And we'd also like to thank Mr. Byrne for leading us into prayer before every playoff game. Byrne! Oh. Yes, 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 sir! To all my coaches, thank you, every one of you. You guys kept me motivated at times where I didn't feel the best about myself or my abilities on the field. You guys taught me so much and so much I could never repay you for. But I would just love to prove it for you guys at the collegiate level and show you, um, you guys everything that you taught me on the field. So thanks again. To the coaches, I can say thank you for shaping me into the man and the player I am today. Without the majority of the coaches, none of this would be possible. I'd like to say thank you to all the coaches, especially Coach Porto, for taking a chance on me. I know I'm a little undersized, but he still put me on the O-line sometimes, so I'd like to say thanks. And thanks to Saliba, too, for just helping me uh, be the best player I could be. For the juniors that are coming up next year, man, just got to... You gotta bring the energy. You gotta, you know, get in the weight room, get bigger, get stronger, get faster. Cause seniors are a whole different, the whole different animal than junior, right? So, you gotta bring, bring your energy. Uh, hit the weights, 100%. Uh, don't be scared. You know, when you go up, you know, you played football before. Rely on your talents and what the coaches are gonna teach you, and just ball out. To the juniors coming up, I just say, uh, hit the weight room, keep working, keep grinding, and you'll just be as best as you can be. Um. Uh, what can I say to my junior guys? Yo, you young bucks, man. Just, you gotta go hard and prove everybody wrong. A lot of people have said stuff about Marcy over the years and we've been able to prove them wrong to this point. So continue the tradition, man. For any juniors that are about to play senior, I just recommend uh, training in the off season, working out, uh, just practicing a lot. And when you get to camp, just work extra hard and ho hopefully you can make an impact. To the juniors, I can say, don't fail us. Don't fail our legacy. Don't let us down, I'm, I'm, I'm kidding. Work hard, don't take seniors as a joke, and enjoy your last years either playing football for St. Marcelinas or continuing to go on where you are. Just enjoy doing it with your friends. Juniors, just try your best. Put your 100 and million percent into everything. 
make sure you go hard on every single play, whistle to whistle, don't give up, and keep going, keep grinding, and don't stop until you achieve your goal. Only one thing and one thing only, and that's just stay strong, be the best you can be, because when you're on that field, that's all that matters. Uh, one thing I can say for the juniors is work out. Don't come into the season weighing 130. That's kind of frost. <laughs> and just work hard. If I had to say, after uh, experiencing coaching the defense, I'd say the entire O line's a joke at the end of the day. Come on. What do you guys think you are? We had a lot of comedians. Uh, but number one had to be Deshaun, often quiet, but often making everyone laugh and a good-hearted guy that uh, loves the odd joke. The athletes this year, they taught me that two generations of, um, of athletes can come together as one and become legends. You got the, uh, the guys who work in the trenches, the guys who put in the work, combined with the guys who have always won. You add that together, legendary. Coach of the year right here, coach of the year right here. What I learned this year just reiterated uh, that family and coming together and working together, uh, if you're all on the same page, anything is possible. We achieved the highest uh, level of success ever at our school because everyone came together and bought into the plan. I would say remember who you are. We are, uh, as an adult, you don't change who you are as a kid. You just get more responsibility added on. So that, that sense of who you are inside and who you want to be and how you act, that's truly who you are in your heart. Never let the kid in you die once you grow up. Uh, the advice I'd give him would be that hard work and being a good person always pays off in the end. It paid off for us this year. We had a goal. We worked hard towards it. And we always remember the spirit way this year and to remember that for the rest of their life. Be a tie between um, going to Lawrence Park and beating them 20 nothing for the first time after they were talking, you know, it was a big, it was a big win or our offset championship because, you know, I've been uh, waiting for that moment for the three years playing senior. It was just crazy my final year to go and get that, you know. Definitely winning Ropsa, beating Lauren Park, just revenge for the past two years, even though I didn't play, I just had to go play for my seniors and fifth years, you know. We whooped their ass 29-7. Uh, when we played at LP, we played them uh, at LP, and you know we were just turning up and we planted the flag in the middle of the field. That was definitely a top, a top moment of my high school career. When I scored that touchdown in Ropsa, that game-winning touchdown had all the Lauren Park fans crying. It has to be second LP game. You know, got, caught a big pick. <laughs> Celebrate with the guys. It was a dream come true, you know. I, I predicted it, and after to have it all come through and all guys celebrate on the field with me, it was amazing. It was uh, making history with the boys, you know, the brothers, you know. It has to be the favorite one of the season. Balled out all season, work hard, got that dub. That's how we do it there. It was shutting out LP on their field for the first time in history. It was winning OFSA because getting that hat really means the world to me, and like seeing every and just being happy and like taking pictures celebrating with my mom my parents my teammates you know it was one of the best games of my life and one of the best moments too i have three one is beating one park at their home field because it was 22 nothing and i'm 22 so that, that one touched me uh redeeming ourselves in ropsa was a really big one after a 0 and 2 deficit and of course winning ofsa for the first time in school history something bridge couldn't do who else? Who else? Stanford couldn't do. You know, just, just, just taking a little shots. Made history. This season was a great season. And everyone at St. Marcus thanks you guys. And we will never forget this incredible season.